Hey guys, I'm finally back with a new webio. If you have seen my last webio, this will be another perimeter metro type system. Now, sorry I've not made a new webio in a while, partly due to, to a lot of work as well as a search for what I would find would get a lot of attention and is useful to the area. So since last webio was on a perimeter metro east of New York City, I decided to replicate that west of New York City. Now this line is considerably longer. It starts at Perth Amboy in the south and has two branches in the north with Paramus and Patterson as at its terminuses. This line will decongest many motorways in the area, including most importantly, the Garden State Parkway, which serves as a primarily direct north-south connection in this area. Yes, we do have Route 95, but that does go quite a bit east of the most densely populated areas of northern New Jersey. So this line will set to alleviate those problems. The top speed of this line is 100 miles per hour, and it'll use fast electric trains, kind of like Washington DC metro type trains that are designed for higher speeds, similar to what we have seen in the last webio. So let's start. Perth Amboy is a nice place to start. It is on the Atlantic line of New Jersey transit. It's a big, bigger town or city, if you will. So a lot of people will come to this place to start their journey, whether it's on any line they want. The next station north is Route 440. I think this station is important to get riders off the Garden State Parkway and onto this perimeter metro line. As you can see, it's very easy access from the Garden State Parkway, also known as Route 444, to Route 440 right here. After that, the line will continue along New Jersey Transit's existing shore or Atlantic line until Woodbridge, Avenel, and then Atlantic Junction. I just named it something, but I think that's a good fit because it does go towards the Atlantic coast if you go south. This serves as a junction between the new perimeter metro line and the existing Northeast Corridor line. So people can easily interchange between the two. This is pretty much the rail equivalent of the interchange between Route 95 and the Garden State Parkway right here. And it is located near Railway. Oh yeah, generally, I've not told you this, but any white line indicates a tunnel and blue line is above ground rail. Unlike the last webio, most of this line is above ground rail because this also goes through mostly less dense areas than the Long Island and Bronx perimeter metro. So it will continue underground and emerge at Clark where it will make a sharp turn and go through Cranford East and join the existing Raritan Valley line so people can easily transfer between these lines as well. Roselle Park, Union, and then it will go underground for a little bit, go over Route 78, Irvington's the next station. It will go underground again. It will stop at Springfield, which is actually western section of Newark. Do not get this confused with Springfield Township, which is in Union County near the interchange of Route 24 and 78. Now this line does deviate a bit from the existing Garden State Parkway because I wanted it to serve Newark, which is the biggest city in New Jersey. And also I forgot to mention this, this line will be the first direct rail link between Newark and Patterson, which are the first and third largest cities in New Jersey respectively. So Raymond Boulevard will serve as like the downtown Newark station and it has connections to the existing light rail. It will continue under Washington Street until it goes under the existing Morris and Essex line where Broad Street station is allowing a connection with to Newark Broad Street. After that the line will emerge and also alleviate traffic from Route 21 which is also a motorway here. Stop at Mount Pleasant. Woodside and Belleville. After Belleville, the line will split into two. I'll cover both sections. I'll cover the western section first. So 
So the western section will connect this line to Patterson. So Nutley is next, Allwood, and it will come to the existing main line where North Clifton is a new station. Main Street is a brand new station on the existing line. And then Patterson Central. I renamed it Patterson Central because now there are going to be more than one station in Patterson. So I thought that would be appropriate. The other line's a bit more complicated. It has to go underground and either even underwater under Lyndhurst with a connection to the existing Bergen County line and the, the Rutherford station as well, which goes to the Pascack Valley line. After that, it'll join the Pascack Valley line, stop at Woodridge, Teterboro, and Hockensack. Hockensack is the biggest city in Bergen County, so that's going to draw a lot of riders to these stations. And then the line will actually form a flyover, so to speak, and come to this other railway line. I don't know its name, but it's not a current passenger line, but it does exist. It'll stop at Maywood, go underground to Paramus, which is actually right under the Paramus Mall, which is known as a Garden State Plaza. That's the line. Now, before I complete this web view, I'm going to share the types of stations. This line will not be as heavily used as the eastern perimeter metro here just because it serves less dense areas but like this this is a line connecting areas that were previously only connected by roads especially the garden state parkway the parkway is only six to eight lanes in this area and it becomes choked 24 hours a day seven days a week this line will alleviate a lot of bottlenecks from the area by effectively connecting the strip of eastern New Jersey that's the most dense. As you can see, there's a gray area here which indicates lots of buildup and much high density. These areas are indirectly connected to New York City, but they're not directly connected to each other. This type of line will ensure that these areas will get connected to each other. Travel time from Route 440 to either Patterson Central or Paramus will be around 45 minutes, which is actually shorter than the current distance from here to Patterson or Paramus on the Garden State Parkway under normal traffic conditions. Yes, it may be slightly slower on, on a clear day, but during rush hour, expect to save at least 20 to 25 minutes by using this perimeter metro. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you come back for some more web videos soon. Goodbye.